Hey guys, welcome back to my Egyptian campaign in Total War Room 2. Ready to continue here where I left off last time and continue the assault against the Draco Thracian Confederation, the Bactrians, and I'm going to actually start trying to uh, take some of the lands from the Iceni. And uh, also, it looks like I'm ready to have the first engagement here within the next couple of turns or so with the German Confederation over here at Nassos. So. Uh, they'll probably wind up taking Nassos because, uh, they don't have any, uh, units over here. But once they take this city, I'm gonna have to assault it, um, because I do believe these units here are going to be trying to reinforce them. Now, Nassos, it looks like, does have some units over here that are still viable. Uh, we'll see if they actually succeed in taking another settlement, much like uh, Athens did over here. But uh, after I take Knossos, I'm looking at moving in towards uh, Sparta, and then using whatever fleets I have in this area, moving them up and trying to protect the coastal regions up here as I try to push back the German Confederation. I also have a slave rebellion that I need to deal with here, so let's uh, deal with that now. I'm going to move these guys into the water On the move, my lord. and double time it. it as much as possible. I'm going to try to bring these guys over to Rhodes to try and quell that rebellion. And so that's their job. And I only have two other armies I can move right now. One is this army here at Nicomedia, which I'm looking at moving into Pergamon. And there's another army over by the Iceni territory. So let's see what they got over here. Absolutely nothing. Awesome. Let's assault that. And I'm not going to worry about fighting the garrison army. So let's just go with the garrison stance. Now, I did get a Total War Attila, I'm looking at starting a Let's Play of that pretty soon. I don't like Total War Attila as much as I like Rome 2. Um, the main reason is because I don't really like the factions that you can play as. Although... Uh, you know, it... Maybe it's just a learning curve of the game or something along those lines, but it takes some getting used to. It's not, it's not Rome, <laughs> and uh, Rome, Rome Two is the first Total War that I've ever played. You know, so it's uh, it's the only thing I'm able to reference. So I'm sorry if I'm not uh, coming at it from the perspective as most people, but I just don't find it as enjoyable when you start out a game orders. with. Uh, factions that are essentially screwed from the get-go. Other than maybe the Romans, but even the Romans are pretty screwed. So. Take this settlement Let's go up here, you, my lord. fight the Iceni. Again, we have another garrison army, so I'm just gonna do another auto-resolve. But yeah, Attila... Attila's a mixed bag for me. It's not exactly what I had hoped for. What can I when I do start playing it, but maybe it'll grow on me. I'm going to try playing as a couple of different uh, factions and uh, see what what works and what doesn't work for me. Kind of like in Rome 2, I didn't really feel like playing as the Roman Empire. I like the the Greek and, you know, the Hellas, so uh, let's go to the end phase. I enjoy, like, the Spartans, you know, Spartans, the Athenians. War is the realm Egypt, of man. Obviously. Come, share it with us. What? Oh. Uh, no. Carthage is probably going to wind up dying here because they don't have a city to their name. Although they could probably move in and take Syracuse by the look of it. But yeah, I like, I like the Egyptians too much by this point. And I found out that Egypt can rebel in Attila and actually become their own people. So maybe if I can get them to be liberated from the Eastern Roman Empire, I might be able to have them as an ally, which would be ideal for for my play experience. Alright, I see he's moving out. But I don't know, I mean, the hordes that you can play as, I don't really... 
understand how to play with them well. Um, I really only understand how to play as the Roman Empire in that game. Oh, this is bad. Nasus is gone. But we'll see. And I think it just takes some getting used to, which I just wasn't ready for yet. doing and it's a much more complicated game than room as well so in a way that's a good thing in a way that's also a bad thing uh, as far as I'm concerned because all the all the little unit icons and whatnot in the game like you see here I can look at all of these and understand exactly what they are without having to mouse over any of them really after playing for just, you know, a day. But in Attila, you have to, like, look at every single thing because it's like a painting of something instead of an icon, and then you have to carefully read all the effects in order to understand it, which I don't really like that much. It's overcomplicated, really. public order that might be bad let's just dismantle that and convert this to that so I don't know draw your own opinions um, if you if you don't sound like that's something that's for you I would just recommend waiting for it to go on sale because the game's not going anywhere so let's get this settlement over here ready to rock and roll for producing some new armies and we're doing pretty good on public orders so I'm gonna try to increase food production out of these settlements and that's another thing too in, uh, in Attila food is a lot more bountiful assist, than it is here in I live to Rome save like, you throw around values of hundreds and hundreds of food at a time, whereas in Rome, you know, you're lucky if you increase by 10 off of something. How can I be of a moving unseen? It's a very, model. very different game. There is more that I could do. I'm just gonna try to the assassinate Egyptian some of these generals here. Them. Oh, yeah. Your will Good job, my done. spy. You have done well. You earn a level up. Are you leveling up? I can't tell. I don't think so. Right, send do you, you and do some arson on that. Mischief and mayhem. Yes, my lord. I'm injured, my lord. All right. Well, she's wounded. Um. I think I'm gonna be okay over there. Let's go. Actually, let's go down here. I wanna make sure I'm producing enough food. Which actually, this one's gonna put this area just barely on the brink of being unhappy, but I think it'll be okay. That's all part of it. Carthage. Alright, this area can use more food. So. Let's increase that. Increase that. That's minus 10 food. Yeah, those are all minus 10 food. So we'll see what that does for this region. So that should increase food production there. This is already running at maximum capacity, it looks like. Let's see, that increases squalor a bit too much yeah so I can't really do anything there Egypt is good so I want to replace one of these things but it's just it's too damaging to have these these large settlements which in uh, in Attila it doesn't seem to be well, that big of a deal. If you want to go ultra large settlements, you can. Uh, so let's increase this. That. That. All right. 
so we should be producing a lot more food now. How can I assist, Pharaoh? All those. Hard on the ore. It's going to be a fairly capable rebel army here, and they did take Knossos, so... Uh, we got issues. Athens is growing, which is excellent. Uh, Pergamon. Alright, we need to convert these. And dismantle one of them and convert this one. I'm actually going to get another spy over here. Assassination. I'm going to go with this guy. Does he look like he had a better assassination chance? Alright, so... What let's can I do for get Egypt? this fleet. What can I do for Egypt? Forth a little bit of a better position game. right there. Those Bactrians are still floating around in the sea there. I don't know why. Um, Alright, up here we're going to have issues. This army, it looks like, is going to succeed in taking some Mandar from me. Uh, I don't think I need these guys to force march there. I don't care how tired you are! Yeah, they won't make it. Alright, so let's leave these guys here at Phasis, and at your command. you won't be able to intercept, so let's just take the settlement. And we got another pretty uneventful garrison army, so other resolve. At your command! Okay, uh, get dismantle that. Ready for battle. We don't need see equipment either, so we'll dismantle that as well. And get that. All right, so that should help public order. Uh, let's see. I live to serve, as you command, my lord. No orders, Ooh. great lord. Ooh. Their heavy heart is yours. Kill him. It's the last general available in that army. Alrighty. Uh, oh, you're also close. What do you wish of me? Uh, yeah, poison. I enjoy a little sabotage. Alrighty, well, let's move this army then up to intercept. We fight for you, my lord. Your next command, my what lord. And I'm gonna leave that army there because if they step anywhere inside of my intercept range, I'll be able to catch them. So that should be good. Uh, and then this city up here of Julanus is their very last settlement from the Bactrians, but they will succeed in taking Samandar, so I guess that's okay. We can let them have one last settlement before I wipe them out. And that'll more or less be the end of the Bactrians, and I just have to worry about the Sumerians, but I think they're on better terms with me now, so we probably don't have to go to war with them just yet. I'll double check that. Well, they are unhappy but we are trading with them, so... Eh? I don't know. They don't have that much land, and we do have them more or less completely surrounded. I could take these settlements here very easily, and then after I take back here, I move in and try to wipe them out on our way to the lands of Antartes. Or Antartes. So we'll see. Draco Thracians are almost wiped out. And I do have to rekindle the war with Serancia, or however you say their name. Because they have taken Pella, and I kind of want to get Pella back. How can I assist, Pharaoh? Alright, Pergamon. You're not part of Nicomedia, which is unfortunate. At 
your command. Okay, I need you over Set up here. the watch. Ready for orders. Yeah, okay, so that's gonna stop that rebellion by the look of it. Hopefully. This area is doing alright. Okay, so that's taken care of. Let's get Yes! Actually, I want to make sure I can do nothing more before I move in with that army. Because I did move these guys up here, but we should be fine. They're covering both those settlements, and there's nothing currently at Taraco. But I would like to have Taraco, but if I leave this settlement up here, it's either going to rebel or I'm going to lose it to the Iceni, so I can't really afford to move. So, we'll leave them up there for now, and let's engage I the German to Empire here. So I believe I can just march right in and assault it. Forming a blockade! Take siege to the settlement! Alright, this might be good, this might be bad. <laughs> we'll see what happens here. Let's go through the end turn. Carthage still has no idea what they're doing. Yeah, so Samandar is dead. Wow, they have giant ballistas. Yeah, so I'm gonna have to retake it. Looks like the Assini has one one little army coming towards Taraco. They should be able to handle that. Here we go. Here we go. It begins. And we can't retreat. They do have a ballista coming in. But that's really the only thing I'm worried about. Two ballistas total. Uh, so we will fight this. Terrain looks acceptable. We'll have to see once we get in there. I have to use my cav to take out those ballistas. I don't think that their infantry units are actually that effective. So this is actually not too bad of terrain. Kind of like it. We do have the ocean over here to our backs, but we can't quite get down there. Um, I kind of want to redeploy to the edge. Because the terrain is going to be rather critical in this battle. I would like to pull back. I think I will. Yeah, because then I can send my calves sneakily around here, just barely, I think, around this hill to assault them, and I could also have cav over here in the forest, probably. So let's do that. Let's have Battle group, ready and awaiting orders. group one of cav. We'll send over here, and this will be group two of Cav, and we'll have you up here, or I could hold the hill. I don't know. Because I do have a hill position with forests all around it, I just don't know how much I like that compared to the coastline. Yeah. Alright, 
So we'll have the elephants be group three. And we'll have them down here probably with the cav. And let's take all these guys. And we'll position you all back here. Understood. Hmm. Orders understood. All right, that's gonna have to do. And the general will have you back here. Advance at speed. Enemy reinforcements approaching. Yep, that's where I want them to be. Okay. We're in good shape. We're in really good shape. Alright, so there's their ballista right here, and they're moving it, so that should give us a chance. And their other army is here. Alright, so that's one set of reinforcements. Shock cavalry ready! Riders of the devil! Send you up there. Looks like they're grouping up. Ptolemaic cavalry! Riders, advance! I'm gonna send my cav around and see if I can kill these ballista quickly. And Our hidden units have been discovered! Kev, kill that ballista. Really. Cavalry. Get in there. There you go. Alright, that's one ballista down. I just have to worry about this other ballista, which is over here in the woods. So, let's get... Let's get you. One unit of cav should do the trick. Alright, that ballista's done. I do believe we've killed them all. And they are outside of my ballista range, which means we're not within their ballista range. Excellent. I feel like keeping my cab behind the them, cavalry. actually, if I can. Move my cab over that way. This unit of cab... I'm gonna keep them here. Ordered, my lord. And let's put the elephants Riders on the other advance. side of the hill as well, so they don't know where they are. Oh yeah, cab, just disrupt my lines, why don't you? Brilliant strategy. Okay, uh, I'm gonna redeploy the units here. Yours to command. Double time. All right, let's redeploy all the pikemen and everyone. Quite a few units around the ballista, but it looks like they're moving away. I'm gonna send them in to attack it though. Alright. 
Royal Thorax, swordsman! Advance at speed! Royal Peltasts! Understood! Nubians! For Egypt! Giant Ballista! Alright, they can't move, but they should be okay. Pull back. Heavy horse at your command. Yes, Commander. Right. Ballistas are still in the trees. Is that my ballista firing? Within ballista range. Uh, let's get that ballista and fire here. This ballista fire here. We'll switch to explosive rounds. Maximum effect. I'll send my cab in to get their ballista down, and then I'll start doing a couple of assaults into the back. Looks like they're all moving away. That's good. Very good. Nubian Bowman! Sons of the Nile! At speed! Guard the flanks a little bit. Royal Peltasts! Advance at speed! At speed! Our hidden units have been discovered. Royal Peltasts! Fire! Our orders! Alright. Cav's doing a good job back there. That's Ptolemaic good. Cavalry! Pull back with the Cav. Let's see the cav. We have discovered the enemy's hidden units. Kevin. Nubian Bowman! Fire! Nubians! Attack! Warriors of Ready Egypt! For orders. We are at your command! Nubians! Find your targets! We try to assault those guys. Let's bring my cabin from behind them. More elephants! We are at your command! Melee mode. More elephants! For honor! Awaiting. Our general is under attack! Ballista! Fire on the enemy! Siege artillery awaiting orders! Try firing. No! Ptolemaic cavalry! Crap. By your command! Pack them down! Ready! Find your targets! Royal Peltasts! Fire on the enemy! Poor elephants! Elephants and the ready! It's a rampage of the brain, bit. ready for orders! Send you in. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Send these cabin behind them. Giant ballista! No! Ready and waiting. Take him! Many infantry! 
infantry at your command. Advance! At your service. Breaking a lot of them. Try to chase those guys down. Orders! One of our units has used all its ammunition. Bowman. Burn the skies. We await your command. Stop them over there. Looks like he did. As you command. Damn An it. entire unit has perished. Our units has gone berserk. Pull back. You be in Bowman. Back, man. Back. Besides, it's in command. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Run. Into them. The battle is turning in our favor. That's their general. Ooh, that's rough. I do want to continue it here for a little bit. Kill as many as possible here. One of our units has used all its ammunition. General! Times three. Yeah, probably all gonna get away actually. So let's end the battle here. Yeah! Close victory, huh? Well, we lost 697. Cav took a beating. I think we lost this entire unit of uh, pike. But they held well. Archers got tons of kills. Elephants got tons of kills. Pikemen also got tons of kills. Everyone did their job. So that's the good news. Effectively. Oh man. Definitely gonna have to replenish though.
There is little honor in sitting as a spectator. I'm not gonna fight the Sumerians just yet. Okay. So let's see now. Um that army is actually force My lord. We can't effectively assault them, but we can assault the city. So that's the good news. Bad news is I got a little wrecked. So yeah, we did lose oh. We only lost uh the unit of Cav, by the look of it. Two, three, four, five. That doesn't make sense, though, because there should be... There should be six units of, uh, of Pike, so we actually lost two. Huh, that's weird. I thought we, we lost a yes. unit of Pike for sure. I'm gonna move these guys up towards the roads. Is there nothing else? All right, now we need to take care of all these spies. All men must serve. So you're first. Go with poison. The darkness will take them. Oh well. That's all that is food, pottery. Food production there. And here, one of those. Food. Alright, I'm actually going to try and recruit a, uh, a champion up here. I'm try and get you. I'll recruit you, see if we can take out that agent up here. Alright, so we will assault uh, Nassos here and try and take that out. And try to push back the Germans and then move up towards Sparta per the plan. Let's check back this way. So I know the Iceni were moving forces down here. Egypt asks as much of its servants. There they are. I'm going to try to assassinate their commander again. Good. Very good. You have done quite well, my spy. Quite well indeed. That a level up? Yes. I am lifted to greatness. Yes, you are. You have earned it. Uh, conceal blade, hell yeah. It'll even make you more effective. Okay. Good. Here it's three. But that's gonna increase. Can't quite get that. And you're doing fine. Okay. So they're at minus one. But we should be able to What can I do for Egypt? So I'm actually gonna move you I here. For military training. It is an honor to serve you. Alright, the fleet is still replenishing. I forgot what I lost actually. Eight. Unit of archer perhaps? So it looks like that's what the case is, so. The root. Uh, let's see. The way I can fix this is I can actually raise a fleet here. We'll just have you raise a fleet. I live to serve Pharaoh. Recruit one archer ship. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to send 
this fleet with the one archer ship up here, merge the archer ship into this fleet, and then disband it. So I can bring them their reinforcements without this fleet having to leave the port. And I'm also going to have to do the same thing for the forces up here at Knossos that lost uh, their unit. Which I can probably do roads. No, I can't. I don't have the, the units, so... We need a replacement cab unit. And I would like something to replace the small ballista. Oh, that's a German ballista? What? Alright, so... I'm gonna get... A unit of cav and probably another royal... Peltas by the look of it here, so we'll do that. So let's raise forces. And we'll just have you raise an army. That's uh, fine. And let's see, where are their camels? Camel spearmen? We need Potomac Cavalry. And Royal Peltast. We got these guys too, Royal Thorax Swordsmen. Which would be interesting to use uh, in there along with the general, but I think we'll be fine. I don't know why I have a German Ballista that confuses me to no end. Maybe it's because we had a German uh, encampment or something, or perhaps we captured it. I, mean, I didn't know that that was possible. Athens is rebuilding, so that's good. Uh, we failed here. We fight for you, my lord. If I move out with this army, we're probably going to wind up getting rebellion. So, I think I'm going to go for peace with the Dracothracians. So, let's try this. Do not attempt to sweeten truth with honey. Speak plainly, and I will deal honestly. Ooh, Flatter, give me money. and you fail. Lots of money. Four thousand? Hey, hey, there we go. Gods will frown that I have accepted such poor. <laughs> Alright, so... We have peace there. Syracuse, what? Okay. Well, Syracuse apparently has a fleet somewhere. So, whatever. But at least now we have peace, so I'm going to focus on taking out their agents here, and uh, we'll just wait, because Anthea is within striking distance of this army, so I can just leave that army right there, and it'll be fine. Uh, let's improve that while we're at it. Food. Okay. Now we need to take what out can I do that for army. Egypt? Whoa, you have a long range. It's moving up there. Alright, so let's send these guys down here. They're only at minus four. You so have and a temple. And. Okay, they moved out. How may I serve you? Sabotage. Try to poison them again. A most excellent choice, my lord. How can I assist Pharaoh? Ready for battle. I can't quite make it to him, but I'm gonna try. I live to serve Pharaoh. My lord. At once. Your okay. next command, my lord. So this army here I'm gonna move up to Sarai. That army I'll try to take out their back train army with, and then we'll send both of them up here to Jelanus. At your service. Let's see if I can't I kill will bring somebody. Them death. Right, good enough. I have seen it done. Oh, you got a level. Up. I am a daughter of the night. Okay. Well, good uh, cunning, I guess. And let's see. I'm not gonna do that. 
Alright, so this is the Sumerians, so I think they trespass in order to move through. But that's fine. We fight for you, my lord. I could go to war with the Sumerians right now and try to attack them. But I don't think that would be the wisest choice. So I'm gonna hold off on that. Uh, I got tons of money though. I can try to spread around. Uh, let's see what we got over here. So, upgrade you, you, you. So upgrade all that stuff. For food. Alright, that's enough. Okay. So let's see what else we got. We could hire a uh, dignitary over here. Actually, probably wouldn't be a bad idea. For the Nicomedia area. Let's do that. I'm gonna hire one dignitary. Administration. I'm gonna go for you. Isis, Isis, lovely. All right, so she's gonna be the administrator in this area, and we'll try to balance out the public order penalties, so that way when I leave with the army, I won't have to worry so much about. The negative uh, consequences. Okay. How can I assist, Pharaoh? So now that that's done, uh, I can't hire a mercenary. I think I can hire one. Um, which isn't a bad plan. Oh yeah, we'll go with mercenary Sis and Cav. Just so I have a full army here, and that helps my Cav out. And then let's assault. Take siege to the settlement! There we go. Okay, so I will fight this just to make sure that my cab and elephants don't completely die. I do want to be careful about how we go about this since this army has taken a bit of a beating and then we also have a couple more German forces in the area that we have to deal with. So we're not out of the woods yet. <laughs> the minions of the wolf father. That's great. Okay. No walls, though, so that's, that's good news. Now, I think they're going to receive reinforcements. By your command! We await your command! But we'll see. Alright, so let's space these guys out here. Orders understood. We await your command. Tests. Yes, Kill tests over there to protect Enemy those guys, as well as my general right here. Yes, commander. I don't know why these guys are out of position like that. It's a little odd. We will darken the sky. Then we'll have my archers here. This unit of Cav, I'm going to leave over here. This Cav and this Cav will As you command! Orders. Battle group ready and awaiting orders! So that'll be group one of Cav, and my other Cav will have over here, and I don't care what happens to them. Battle group ready! ready. Battle group ready! And the elephants I'll put over here as well. Put them. As you say! Right there. And Ballista. Ballista, I don't even really want, but we'll put it up here. Gotcha. 
And then these two we'll put here. Yes, Commander! And that should be good. Alright, so let's go ahead and start this battle. Good. Enemy reinforcements approaching. Let's go with explosive rounds on the ballistas. Right in the center here. And the reinforcements are a long way off, so I'm not too worried about that. Warriors eager for blood! Oh, they can't even fire that, really? Follow me! Okay. Ready. So this unit of chaos. Riders, advance. weapons. Be a little careful, I guess. Riders, advance. Giant ballista. Yours to command. Loose. Let's make sure we're not firing directly into my line. Nubian bowmen. Our general is under attack! You and you... Nubians! Orders, my lord! Citizen cavalry! Advance! Send that unit of cav in. Elephants at the ready! Send you in. The charge! Right my lord! Down. Engage! They general, since he's out of position. Nubian bowmen! Deliver them to the Waiting guns. order! Our orders! One of our units has gone berserk! This unit is be fire in the back. Calves and you wipe them out. The so elephants went a little berserk. But they should be okay. Let's have this unit of elephant actually. Assault, maybe. Wait. Citizen cavalry! Advance at speed! Egyptian warriors! Oh no. My elephants. Stop it. Stop killing my men. Nubians! Nubian bowmen! Missile infantry ready! Ptolemy! Right as it burns! Elephants are still berserking. Hopefully we'll get them back under my control soon. It's wreaking havoc on the ballistas. The enemy general is dead! Alright, their general's dead. Giant ballista! And that one Siege can't artillery quite ready. fire. On the side here. Elephants ready for battle! Bowman! Missile infantry ready! Opiens! Our aim is true! Fire on the units. Oh, wait. Hit him in the back. Hit him in the back. The enemy general is dead. Alright, we'll just, uh, we'll quit that. Decisive victory. Lost well, 171 men. Friendly fire. From the darn elephants. <laughs> but the enemy lost their entire force, so that's it for Nassos. We'll be able to successfully capture that. 
and then hopefully be able to replenish this army. For you, my lord. The city is mine. Ooh, we can actually replenish here, although I really don't want to, so I will dismantle that. Now, the the docks is actually a good idea, so I'm going to leave the docks the way it is. How can I assist, there. Pharaoh? And the mercenaries will be fine for now. We don't need to disband them, but we do need to take out this other German army. What can I do for Egypt? Uh, we should be fine. Okay. So that's it for that turn. We'll go through the end phase here. Oh, yeah, that's right. And, uh, wrap it up. I'll we'll try strategist on this guy. And we'll be able to wrap up this episode here. And Carthage is slowly dying. Painful death. I think they're raiding me now. Which is not cool. <laughs> the Bactrian hero met his end. I'll kill her too. Damn. Looks like she succeeded. Which is unfortunate. I don't know what that navy's doing derping about there, but they'll slowly die after we wind up taking their last city. Okay, I see he's moving away. Oh no, Carthage. The gods weep oh, when men battle fruit. Crazy. Oh, get back here. I need to chase her down and kill her. Alright, they got a new army at Sparta. Which is interesting. Let's see if the slaves decide to attack me. Oh, guess not. Military sabotage. Okay. Alrighty. Uh, they are raiding me, which is not cool. But I do have the C under lock and key, so if they try to escape, we'll be able to wipe them out. Yes. This fleet here... Ah, good. They're within striking distance, actually. For Egypt! Yeah, there we go. And I don't even really know if I want to fight this. I mean, they're slaves, after all. Actually, that's a lot of cav. Holy balls. Okay. Um, actually, nah, we'll fight this. We'll kill them. They're my slaves. We'll wipe them out. They have way too much cav. <laughs> Like, all that cab is just going to get wrecked against the pikes and the uh, the archers here. And their only real ranged unit is the slingers. These peltas won't have that great of a range. Especially in this wide open field. They're going to get destroyed. Alright. Yeah, look at them all. Alright, so let's build the protective box. We'll have four units. Four units worth of pike should do the trick. Pikes at the ready! At your service! This unit of pike here on the side. Pike phalanx! Ready for orders! Unit of pike on this side here. Pikemen! Form phalanx! At your service! Peltas here. Yes, commander! Group up the archers in the middle. General. Uh, out here with the elephants. Our orders. Ready to ride. Battle group ready. Battle group ready. All right. So, Cav. 
I really don't know if I even want to get my cab into a skirmish battle. Seems like kind of a bad idea. But I'll have him back here just the same. And the ballistas are going to need to be fairly close. Yes, that. Commander! So that way they don't get completely wrecked. Okay. Ptolemaic cavalry! At your service! Cab back a bit. Alright, here we go. Giant ballista! Ballistas will focus fire here. Our reinforcements have arrived! Make example of these foolish wretches! Leave none alive! Put them to the storm! Alrighty, reinforcements coming in. On your orders! Lots of plebs. Oh, we'll use them. It's me! Right to that flank. And I don't even really care if they die, to be honest. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Ready. Missile infantry ready. Egyptian warriors. Ready to march. Elephants and the ready. More elephants. What are your orders? One of our units has gone berserk. Battle is turning in our favor. Our general is under attack. Your orders, my lord. Get forward! Bowman, Bowman. Heavy cavalry, ready. Bowman. Proud sons of Egypt. One of our units has gone berserk. Bowman! What are your orders? 
One of our units has gone berserk. Here we go. Yeah! Some victory. Didn't lose too many men either. Cav took a little bit of a beating, but not too bad. It says we lost 483, but I think the majority of that's actually from the uh, garrison army that came out from the city to help us. But their force has been completely obliterated. Except for a few units that managed to get away. Lord. Yeah, that takes care of the soldier rebellion. Advance! What can okay. I do for yep, Egypt? We'll fully replenish, so that's good. And yeah, we'll boost the cav too with, uh, with that upgrade, so that's good. Upgrade that. that. So that should do At your it. command. The army. I think we'll just have them rest there in port for a little bit. This navy. I think we should move them over here. And uh, get a couple of assault ships probably wouldn't be a bad idea. It is an we have plenty of ballista ships, so... Actually, can I should be able to recruit from here. Yeah. So let's get uh, maybe a couple of fire pots because they seem to do. We'll get uh, two fire pots. Two spears. And that should be good. So we'll have a nice navy there. Ready for this orders. Navy. I can actually recruit right here from this navy too, so this is good. Uh, we'll get a couple spear units. So there, we're going to have two full 20 stack navies ready to go. These guys are replenishing. This army is ready, ready for the for replenishment, orders. so we'll send you into and force a march, who drops is and left send you up here. So we'll send them up to Nassos to restock the units that died out of the army and get that one German ballista out of there. And that should be good. Um, I think I can actually raise another army and prepare to send it up north here as well. But actually, the real army I need is over on the side, so let's probably not do that. Meanwhile, this side of the world I live to serve can get Pharaoh. completely hindered, so setting forth in firm. Our advance has been halted. Seizing settlement. Auto resolve. Put them out. Yeah. Is that all, my lord? Oh, my lord. lord. Get back here. Ready for battle. All right, so we're gonna have to chase these guys down and finish them off. I will increase their movement range, though. Dismantle these. Alright. Ah, there's our armies. Okay. So the Sumerians are now effectively trespassing into my territory, which is not cool. How can I assist, Pharaoh? Whatever. 
Take these guys into force march. I'm actually gonna bring up this army. Your next command, Alright. So Bactria just barely has a unit left there. This area is actually doing pretty good. Food's doing about the same as it was, which is one thing I was concerned about. And this champion needs to kill this guy. Not the same chance. We'll go for slaughter. Very good. My victories are for you, my lord. His so training is never complete. Authority. And what can I do for Egypt? Oh, the spies in the water. Alright, so civil administration. To the great I should take care of that. I'm gonna keep my spy right there for now. And I got lots of money to spend, and I don't really know what to spend it on. I guess increasing that's not a bad idea. Alright. So they're actually a little bit happier now. All right, we got an Iceni army on the way. How can I do this? Cause for a little concern. As you command, my lord. Is there a fairly assistance? The hand that's try to kill another one of their generals. I got a bigger steal. army up here now. Oh, very good. I was the instrument of your will. bringing the fight to me, but I feel pretty good. I go for the increase of that, which is going to take out 10 food. I think we'll be able to handle it. Actually, here's doing pretty good, so I'm going to increase that to a level 4 food store. So that'll counteract that effect. And this area is doing fantastic as well, so let's increase these for additional food production, and we'll increase that, which eats up all my money. Alright, that should be good. We have captured Nossos, which means they're going to wind up dying. And is Carthage? They are, in fact... Raiding me, which is not cool. Not cool at all. Um, they don't even really have an effective army, to be honest. Lots of spear infantry, but I don't think they're going to manage to get through the city walls if they do decide to declare war on me. It's unfortunate that they've chosen that course of action. But whatever. And Nasos is actually doing the same, so they're no better off. Alright, Bactria. Bactria's final force, that's the other thing I need to do over here, actually, before I end the episode, is take out this army. How can I assist Pharaoh? Let's try Sabotage. and poison them one last time. A most excellent choice. No! I am Okay, we got an ambush. Well, I'm just gonna wipe them out very quick. On the move, my lord. Chase them down. Ready for all. Run them through. You have further orders? At your command. Okay, that takes care of that army there. When she recovers, I'm gonna have her try and take out this uh, Bactrian dignitary. And How can I you, assist, I believe, got hindered by a spy. At your command. 
So now that that army's out of the way, I'm going to bring them all up to Sarai, try and wipe out these last uh, Bactrian armies here, and then I'll try to take their final settlement. And they... I don't know if I saw a Bactrian army down here or whatnot, but I saw something in the water. It might have been the one off the coast of uh, Alexandria. I think that's what it was. Because they have navies in weird locations, so I think it was this one up here is what I saw. But it's just weird to, for them to have a navy all the way over here. Okay, so that is it for this episode, guys. Next time I'll be moving my, uh, my little navy up here to replenish those guys. Uh, this will be good. I'm just going to have them replenish here for now. And then I'm going to move this army over into Sparta and try and push the German Confederation back. And it does look like they're having some issues, actually, with the Antarans. Yes, I oh don't know. Well, they are military allies, which is odd. But they don't have that great of a area that they actually control, so it'll probably be good to push back the German Confederation at least up to the Draco Thracian Confederation's lines, then wipe them out and start pushing against Antares, wipe them out, and just move over that entire area. Uh, Massalia is a little unfriendly with me, but actually they should be I give my you greeting right and now. my attention for the next few minutes. Make really your case, but without a lawyer's apparently. tedium. Military alliance. But we are trading with them, so that's good. And the last thing I need to check was faction power. Which, we haven't had a civil war yet, luckily enough, but it looks like the faction's power is pretty even. Although the other families are ever so slightly uh, more powerful. Because he's got 169 gravitas, so this guy's 225, which is crazy. Uh, his wife looks good, though. That's the important thing. I haven't secured promotions in a long time. A drunken wife. But she is giving public order benefits, which is a bit crazy. It looks like they're... They actually have good wives, which is surprising. Usually they get bad wives. Ambitious wife, plus 5% corruption, that's not good, so you need a divorce. Yeah. So he actually needed a divorce. Because uh, his wife was giving us corruption, and we can't afford to have corruption. Alright. Which didn't really change our overall faction much, so that's fine. Alright guys, so that's it for this episode. Next time we're going to continue to push against the German Confederation and try to push them out. And also build up some armies to go to war with the IC. So that's some things to look forward to. Bactria should fall within the next episode. We'll see how well that goes. And uh, then I might move against the Sumerians because they are a bit in my way to the Antares. So we'll see how that goes as well. Alright guys, thanks for watching, and until next time, take care.